Hey there and welcome back to the channel. MIDI is a very powerful and useful tool for controlling your effects pedals, but some of you may not know how it works and have no clue of what it can do for you. You may even feel a little too intimidated to start. Now if that's you, this video is just for you. Most of you would probably know about MIDI in the context of a MIDI keyboard like this one, which allows you to input notes and control functions in your digital audio workstation on a computer. But MIDI is so much more than that. But today, we're talking about MIDI specifically in the context of an effects pedal board and how it gives you simultaneous control over all your pedals, enabling you to make full use of all that pedal power. Now, before we begin, let's talk about why MIDI controllers for pedal boards even exist in the first place. This is a pedal board. All the pedals on this board are MIDI capable. As you can see, there are numerous effects pedals, each of which is capable of altering your guitar's tone in many different ways. When you take into account how many pedals there are, the permutations and possibilities are almost endless. Say in the middle of the song you want to engage a light overdrive, an ambient reverb, a modulated dotted 8 analog delay, and a gentle compressor. Now there's no way you could possibly step on all four pedals in an instant. And given that your last to use settings may be nowhere close to your currently desired settings, it would take a long time for you to get the tone you want perfectly dialed in. In the next instance, you may want to disengage your overdrive, have a digital slapback delay, a simple spring reverb, and more aggressive compression. Again, there's no way you could possibly make all those changes without some impressive tap dancing. Do you see where we're going with this? MIDI allows you to make all those changes to your tone with just a single switch press. With just one tap on the MC6, I'm gonna engage the Golden Boy, the Tonal Recall, the Big Sky, and the Bloom. This effectively allows you to create your own multi-effects board and create your own preset sounds. The advantage of this versus an all-in-one multi-effects unit is that you get to pick and choose which brands and pedals you want to use, without being limited to only one brand and its built-in digital effects. Today, we're gonna to cover the bare essentials of how MIDI works on a pedal board. The only two types of MIDI messages you need to remember today are program change messages and control change messages. A program change message, known as PC message for short, does exactly what its name suggests. It recalls a particular program, also known as a preset, on the pedal that it is sent to. Most MIDI-capable pedals allow you to tweak your sound and save it as a preset. By sending a PC message to a pedal, you can recall any preset of your choice. This is super useful because it allows you to instantly recall any preset on your pedal without you needing to scroll through all of them just to get to the one you want. PC numbers range from 0 to 127, and which preset you recall is determined by what PC number you send. Presets on a pedal typically correspond sequentially with PC numbers. Usually, PC number 0 will recall preset 1, PC number 1 recalls preset 2, PC number 2 recalls preset 3, and so on. And that's all you need to know about program change messages. Moving on to the second type of MIDI message, control change messages, known as CC messages for short. These messages allow you to control various parameters and functions on your pedal without changing presets. For example, you could control the wet dry mix, modulation depth, feedback amount, gain, volume, and many other parameters on a pedal. You could also trigger the record button on a looper, tap tempo switch on a delay pedal, and other various functions depending on the pedal you are controlling. As long as your pedal allows the function to be MIDI controlled, you can control it. A CC message is made up of two parts, CC number and CC value. The CC number determines which effect parameter or function you control. Just like PC numbers, CC numbers also range from 0 to 127. Think of it like a restaurant menu where each dish has a number. So instead of telling the waiter the entire dish name, you can just tell him or her the dish number. Let's take this Trimon timeline manual for example. In it, you will find a MIDI implementation chart documenting all the parameters and functions that can be controlled by MIDI. In each row, you will find the corresponding CC number that controls that particular parameter or function. But no one likes referring to charts and manuals, so that's why we've made it easy for you in our Morningstar editor by including the MIDI dictionary. The MIDI dictionary contains all the MIDI information of the most popular and widely used pedals. So all you have to do is select the brand, model, and function you want to control, and the correct CC number will be selected for you. The second part of a CC message is its CC value. CC values also range from 0 to 127, and they determine how a parameter or function is affected. For example, when controlling a wet-dry mix, a value of 0 would produce a completely dry mix and a value of 127 would produce a completely wet mix. Values in between would produce a blend according to what value is used. Now that you understand the two most important types of MIDI messages, let's talk about how MIDI is sent from a MIDI controller to another pedal. 
Most MIDI capable pedals have MIDI in and MIDI through ports. This allows you to daisy chain them, allowing MIDI to flow from your MIDI controller through to all your other pedals. Then comes the problem. Since MIDI is flowing through all the pedals, how does each pedal know to respond only to MIDI messages meant for it? It's easy. That's why we have MIDI channels. MIDI channels are very much like radio channels on walkie-talkies. With a walkie-talkie, you can only receive audio when you are tuned to the same channel as the sender. The same goes for MIDI. Each of your pedals can be set to a different MIDI channel. Each MIDI message sent from your Morningstar controller can also be assigned to a specific MIDI channel. In total, there are 16 different MIDI channels for you to choose from, allowing you to simultaneously control up to 16 different devices with a single switch press. A pedal will respond only to messages that are sent on the same MIDI channel that it is set to receive MIDI on. So if you send a MIDI message via channel 1, only pedals set to channel 1 will respond to it. If you send a message via channel 3, only pedals set to channel 3 will respond to the message. Of course, there are other more advanced uses for MIDI on a pedal board. Some of these include MIDI Clock, which allows you to sync up all your time-based effects. We made a video about that and you can check it out right here. You can also connect an expression pedal to your MIDI controller to give you expression control over any MIDI controllable parameter. We also made a video about that here. Hopefully this video has given you a good basic understanding of what MIDI does on a pedal board. Just remember, program change messages allow us to recall presets. Control change messages allow you to control effect parameters and functions. It's really that simple. If you've watched up till here, I hope that you've enjoyed the video and do consider subscribing to our channel. Also remember to hit that like button, it helps our channel grow and allows us to continue putting out more interesting and useful content for you. That'd be greatly appreciated. If you are interested to find out more about MIDI and how it can enable you to take full advantage of your pedal board, check out the rest of our videos. We've also included some helpful links in the description down below. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Peace.